Beneath a crumbling termite mound, a quiet genius unfolds, termitomyces, not just a mushroom, but a civilization beneath the soil. It does not grow alone, because it cannot grow alone. This fungus is part of an ancient pact, a mutualism forged over 31 million years ago, with the termites of the subfamily Macrotermitini, the termites collect dead wood, leaves, dry grass, and carry it back to the nest, but not for themselves, they chew it, moisten it, and build unique fungal garden. Deep underground, and into this, they seed the spores of Termitomyces. The fungus grows its mycelium, across this comb like living lace, it secretes enzymes, lactases, peroxidases, and caezymes, breaking down lignin, digesting the undigestible. The termites eat the fungus, the fungus eats the forest, and together, they recycle life into life. Above ground, we see only the fruiting body, snow white caps, gills tinged with pink or grey. And in some species, like Termitomyces titanicus, a mushroom large enough to feed a village, some caps reach one meter wide, they erupt only during the monsoon, then vanish in days, a brief brilliant flash of the life. There are total 30 known species of Termitomyces, scattered across Africa, Asia, and the humid forests of the Pacific, all are edible, all are prized, rich in protein, fiber, and minerals like zinc and potassium. Used in folk medicine for treating, inflammation, ulcers, even neurodegeneration, and their antioxidant strength rivals that of many cultivated crops. They grow without human help, yet remain one of the world's most efficient recyclers, turning death into food, wood into sustenance, decay into renewal, a mushroom built by insects, an enzyme factory hidden underground, an evolutionary masterpiece, too humble to boast, too brilliant to ignore, termitomyces, where fungus and insect become one, where the forest learns to digest itself, and where life returns, again and again, from the heart of decay.